Brodie and I have been licensed for several months now, um, out on the street working with our colleagues. And he's a great dog. He is, uh, we've built up a really good relationship together. He's, uh, he wants to be with me 24 seven. He's very, very protective of me. If anybody goes near the van, anybody goes near me, he gets a bit tense and, uh, and lets them know that uh, they shouldn't be too close. It wasn't very long after we had licensed. Um, we got called to Truders on premises. We was the first persons on scene. Um, and uh, we had searched the uh, buildings and we were just checking the periphery and it was absolutely pitch black and the only thing I could see was his eyes glinting at me in my torch and I noticed as we were checking the fence line I was only 10-15 foot away from him and I still couldn't see the dog, only his eyes and he, he started looking at me and, and, and when he does that I know that he's found something that's his way of telling me there's something here I turned to recall him back to me and as I did that, I couldn't see his eyes anymore. And with that, I was aware that a vehicle had come from my left-hand side. He had run out onto the road, obviously, at that time through a hole in the fence, which I hadn't seen, and he got hit by the car. I ran out onto the road and the vehicle slowed down, but then sped off. I expected to see a dog laying in the middle of the road, I've got to say, and uh, it wasn't a very good feeling at all. Once I'd managed to collect my thoughts, went back to where we last were, retracked from there and found him laying in the corner of the, of the building site um, with blood coming from him and he, he obviously wasn't well. We blue lighted to the vets, his blood pressure had dropped through the floor uh, and his breathing was very laboured. The, the vet took numerous x-rays of him um, and could see that one of his lungs had collapsed and he'd had, got a build up of air in his chest cavity. We were really worried about him at that time. The vet did a brilliant job as they do, and we, they, they got all the air out of his chest cavity, checked him, he, luckily he didn't have any breaks in his, in his rib cage, which obviously would have punctured the lung then. We put him into recovery in the vets, it was only a matter of four hours later, and he was back to his old self. He hates the vets and he let them know it as well, and uh, he was only off work for a week, and he was back again, and he, he's uh, no ill effects from it, no problems at all and uh, he's back to being a great dog again.